was really only one video to make today, <laughs> wasn't there? And that is my Euro 2024 predictions. And we'll use, we'll use a website to sort of help us through the, the round of 16 and further. So I'm going to pop down into the corner in a second. I'm using a, a prediction maker, prediction tool from bein.com. Chose this one because it's the darkest one I could find. <laughs> All of the, the usual suspects, the telegraph especially, are very stark white, and I don't want it to be too harsh on your little eyes. <laughs> but guys, we are on our way to 25,000 subscribers, we're nearly there. So if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy ASMR and sports, please check out the channel and consider clicking the subscribe button. We're growing every day and it's so exciting. But okay, let me bring up the screen now and we'll go through these relatively quickly quickly I say that. I end up making 45 minute videos, but I'll, I'll try to keep this one a little bit succinct. Now let's look at group A. We've got Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland. And I think it's safe. Germany on top uh, for this group. Now, okay, we're going right into like, I guess a hot take or an unpopular opinion. Because I know the move sort of is to put Hungary in second, right? But if I look at their matchup, I don't know, I could potentially see a loss to Switzerland. This is their first match in Group A, and I, 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 I could see Switzerland coming out strong and being prepared for Hungary. Watch me be super, super wrong <laughs> right off the bat in some of the first matches game day one of the tournament, but in theory we could see an upset here. Then they've got Germany, which is another loss, and then they'll end the group stage with Scotland, and I could see that being a draw. So based on those numbers, I'm actually putting Switzerland in second <laughs> and Scotland with their beautiful kids in third for group A. Group A is definitely um, some of my spicier predictions. Because now let's go to group B. <laughs> We've got Spain. Croatia, Italy, the, uh, the defending champions, and Albania. And the way I see this group going, Spain on top. I think I might just keep this order, actually, because, see, Croatia is sort of an aging squad, or the, the squad that we think of as like that strong Croatian team. Let's 
getting a little bit younger, a little more inexperienced. But maybe against better judgment, I'm putting them in second. <laughs> then I'm gonna go Italy. And that leaves Albania out. Now group C. If you guys didn't see my Euro Kids tier ranking video, I'll say it right now. I'm behind England. I'm supporting England. Doesn't necessarily mean I think they'll win it. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be cheering them on. That gives us Denmark in second, and I don't know, is this another hot take? I'm gonna do Serbia and then Slovenia, because I think if they both finish with like one point, um, who's gonna have the better goal difference? Serbia. And now group D. Let me move all of these groups here along. Okay. Group D. We've got from Netherlands. <laughs> I was already naming France to go top, so let's just do that. France, Poland, and Austria. I have to do France. I have to do Netherlands. I mean, I don't have to. But <laughs> and then, let's look at these matchups. Okay, here's another hot take, maybe. And this might be solely based on the fact that I like their kit. <laughs> their Be wrong. Um, <clears throat> spoiler alert. Oh. Spoiler alert. <laughs> that was a cliffhanger. Um, I'm not going to put Poland through on the like third place qualifiers. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe you put Austria ahead of Netherlands? Nah, I won't. There's no way I will. <laughs> Group E consists of Ukraine, Slovakia, Belgium, and Romania. I gotta put Belgium on top. And then, this is my other hot take, I think, of the group stage. I'm gonna go Ukraine second and Slovakia third. Because again, again, I think Romania are expected to do better than I'm giving them credit for, but first match is against Ukraine. I think Ukraine could hold them off to like a 1-0. Second match is against Belgium. Let's say that's 2-0 loss for Romania. And then they'll end the group stage with Slovakia. And I could see like a sc low scoring upset there too. But I don't know. <laughs> We're just having fun here. Right, group F, Portugal, Czechia, Georgia, and Turkey. Portugal's gotta go on top. I'm predicting that I might make some Ronaldo fans upset here. <laughs> then I'm gonna go Turkey second and Czechia third. And that leaves out 
Georgia. Um, yeah, is this groupie is a tough one because maybe you put in Albania and knock out Italy, but I think I'm okay with that because a lot of these teams are gonna get weighted out. <laughs> in the round of 16 and in the quarterfinals. Anyway, so that being said, let's move on to the round of 16. Okay, oh yeah, best from third place teams. So, let me look at my schedule again. Yeah, again, bit of a bit of a, maybe an unpopular opinion, but I still think that Italy has something to give here. So I'm going Italy first. Does the order matter? I'm gonna say Italy, Czechia, Scotland, and is probably Serbia, isn't it? But then Slovakia Just based on goal, goal difference, I kind of want to move Slovakia up Okay This is wrong. I acknowledge that this is wrong <laughs> Round of 16, we've got Germany versus Denmark, and I think Germany, if anything, it's like not even to take away from their squad, because it's a good squad, and in any tournament they could make it out of the round of 16, that being said, on top of that, there's the fact that they're the home team. So we have to move them at least past the round of 16, and maybe that's where it'll end for them, we'll see. <laughs> now Switzerland versus Croatia. Despite, like, like I said, Croatia being more inexperienced, maybe being a little bit weaker at this point, I've got to move them past Switzerland. Spain, easily, this is where my third place, what is the round called? Just best from third place team. This is where Slovakia might be wrong, but do I see Poland or Serbia winning against Spain? Not necessarily. England versus Czechia. It's gonna be England. Portugal versus Scotland. I'm sorry, Scotland. Portugal does have a good Team. They could get to the semi-finals, the, maybe the finals, we'll see how it shakes out for us. Netherlands versus Ukraine. I think maybe I'm giving the, the Netherlands team a little too much credit. I did just see them beat Canada 4-0, <laughs> but it was Canada. Um, but still, I'm gonna give them the win in this matchup. Okay, Belgium, Italy. We're gonna call this one an upset. We're gonna see the upset here. And then France, Turkey. We're gonna go with France, one of the favorite teams to 
win by far in this tournament. Okay, it's really heating up now. <laughs> We've got Spain and Germany, Portugal and the Netherlands, Italy versus France, and England versus Croatia. And look, we'll do a couple of the easier ones first. <laughs> um, Portugal. And I think I consider England maybe an easier one here. The tough one is Spain versus Germany, because I think a lot of people would have Spain out of the tournament by now in their predictions and have Germany going up against someone else. Regardless, I don't think Germany will win the tournament and you could see them through to the semi-finals against Portugal, which is probably the smart prediction. <laughs> to make, but in my mind, again, you gotta have little upsets once in a while, and I could see Germany slipping out of the tournament early, unfortunately, you know, you'd love to see them succeed in front of the home crowd, but I could see them slipping out earlier than anticipated. Would it be to Spain? I don't know. Again, I think I'm giving Spain a little bit more credit than most people <laughs> for this tournament, but they could be the dark horses. Who knows? And a Spain-Portugal semi-final would be a good time. So let's talk about these semi-finals. This is tough. Right, they're two really tough ones. I mean, again, Spain, Portugal, I think a lot of people will look at that matchup and go, that's not a tough matchup. You give it to Portugal. But these teams have a history of drawing. <laughs> and, and, and also, in a way, it's like the Iberian be, right? <laughs> Surely that's not the name for it, but still. If they draw and it goes to pens, you've got, who do you have? You have Raya, Annette, and De Costa, is it? Or just Costa? Diego Costa? Diego Costa <laughs> for Portugal. Um, and then it's so late in the tournament. You don't know who's still healthy. You don't know who's taking penalties. And again, I said I would upset some Ronaldo fans today. <laughs> Am I really putting Spain through? my mind's eye, <laughs> I just see a really upset Ronaldo, just disappointed. And it's this weird thing where I, I don't see Portugal. I mean, I know a lot of people would have Germany getting through that stage, that whoever ends up in that matchup of the semifinals anyway, but I'm gonna live on the edge. <laughs> Spain through to the final. And then France versus England. I think most ways that you shake this tree, <laughs> I don't think that's an expression, but most ways that you work this bracket out, most people will have France versus England in the semifinal. Two of the 
favorite teams to go through and I said in my Euro Kids tier list video that I was supporting England but that I didn't see them winning and I'll, you know I'll get ahead of myself right now and say whoever between France and England gets to the final against Spain wins the final in my in my bracket. This is so difficult for me because again, who is in the squad right at this point? You could argue that France have more depth and so this late in the tournament it only makes sense that they would win I, England has a lot of young guns who might want redemption either redemption for the last year it was three years ago or uh, like I'm thinking of of uh, Gordon, right? And of course I'm I'm the supporter of Newcastle, so I'm gonna say oh yeah Gordon's gonna come in and <laughs> change the game. But he will I mean we've seen Anthony Gordon hungry with Newcastle and I'm just I think he's gonna have some amazing runs <laughs> for England if he gets off the bench. And then there's Gareth South, Gareth South, Gareth Southgate, Gareth Southgate, Gareth. I'll just say Southgate. <laughs> it's like my total lack of faith in him. <laughs> but, but, okay, here's another argument, right? Southgate ball is not exciting. Again, speaking as a Canadian, I recently watched Canada hold France off to a, a nil-nil draw in a friendly. So maybe England being boring France back and then it's the end of the tournament so Gordon gets a chance to come on and then he goes for a run and he scores one and it's 1-0 or 2-1 I could, this is the trouble is I could see England actually winning this I think for the first time in a while I'm not hearing it's coming home as much as usual maybe England fans are just tired of having that hope and I said England wasn't going to win this tournament but I think I'm walking back on that now <laughs> I think this would be a, a historic, a legendary win for England and that means England wins the whole tournament by my prediction, which goes against the prediction that I made a week and a half ago, <laughs> that England would not win the tournament. And I'm probably gonna look like a fool in a month's time, but that's it. I'm calling England the winners of Euro. I'm already regretting making that decision, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out with me while I make my Euro prediction. Let me know in the comment who you think is winning Euro 2024. Let me know what you think the final will be. I want to know how many people see Germany getting through. I 
think it's gonna be a lot of like Portugal versus France, but apparently I'm holding out hope. <laughs> and I'll see you soon.